a dip dye bleach shirt project and I thought I'd show you what I'm doing. So if you'd like to do one, this is what you'll need. Some Tesco thick bleach, you can use any thick bleach. Some protective gloves and a container or, because I've put this in my sink, but you can actually just put the plug in your sink and um, that will do exactly the same. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area and that you wear some old clothes. So for the dip dyeing, we're just going to put quite a bit, like probably quarter to half a bottle of your bleach into a tub. You could even fill this side of the sink, but I haven't got a plug, so I've got to do it in this container. Right, a bit more. Okay, now I need to mix that up. So I'm just going to use a fork. Make sure you don't splash it. Just want to get that mixed into the water. Okay, so there we go. That's all ready. And I'm just going to literally with the shirt, dip the bottom section in there like that. I just wanna make sure that's all in and all, all the bottom half is submerged. I'm just gonna turn that over just to make sure the, the back is all in and wet as well. Yeah. that's quite a lot of liquid in there that should slowly just go up the shirt as the shirt pulls in the moisture and that's what will make the ombre effect as that starts just soaking up the shirt or rather the shirt soaks up the liquid all submerged and I'm going to leave that now for about 20 minutes and then I'll come back to it and see how far it is going up the shirt I can see it's slightly there I'll bring you in closer so you can have a look you can see it's starting to come up the shirt as the shirt soaks up the liquid and basically I've just lent it over the sink and into the container. So I'm just gonna leave that for like 15, 20 minutes so it's soaked at least halfway up the shirt to give it a good ombre look. About seven to 10 minutes and you can see it is starting to spread up the shirt. And look closely, you can see it's starting to change colour. Now, if you feel you want it to go further up the shirt, you have to add some more bleach and water and that will just make the shirt suck up some more liquid. But I, let's just see how wet that is. I think if it wants to suck up some more, it can, it's just a matter of time. So I think I'll leave it for another 10 minutes. It's been bleaching now for about 40 minutes. It's soaked up to the bottom of the pockets. So I'm gonna pop it into the washing machine on about a 30 mixed wash. Just pop it in the machine on a mixed 30 wash. Okay, I also put it in the dryer and have given it a bit of an iron. And here it is close up. There's the little bit, the transition between the bleaching and the unbleached. I'm really pleased with it, it's come out really well, so it's gone from ombre from the bottom going up. There you go. I'll show you the back as well. So there's the back, there's the bit in the middle, it's come out really nice. So it goes from the bottom ombre all the way up. I'll just show you the stitching as well because the stitching stayed dark. Must have been a synthetic stitch on it. So there you go. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up 
and subscribe for more DIYs. Thanks for watching.